It is with great sadness that we tell you a member of our WGN family has passed away. Meteorologist Mike Hammernick died peacefully at his home this morning after a battle with lung cancer. WGN's Sean Lewis has more now on Mike, whose interest in weather started when he was just a young boy. Let's check in with Mike Hammernick. Let's say you can give us some good news in the weather department. Morning, Mike. Do you have some good news for us? Oh, uh, oh. not really. Oh, <laughs> boy. Mike, any better weather today than we had yesterday? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've got some He was truly one of Chicago's way. very own. Born and raised in Chicago, Mike Hammernick grew up as part of the extended WGN family. Mike was born. His dad, Don Hammernick, became the drummer for Bozo Circus Big Top Band. Don was part of the band for 25 years. I was his roadie. I'd have to haul his drums around for him from the station uh, to wherever he was going. So I spent a lot of time here. Toby Chen was a kid, believe it or not. It was pretty amazing that, uh, that uh, somehow I ended up back here again. And some of the rainfall numbers we're getting from that highest precip. Uh, Mike's love of the weather started very early. His sister Kathleen remembers their dad bringing home weather maps from the studio for Mike to study. Then the family would pay a penny to go into his room and get a personalized forecast for themselves. Well, winter storm warning continues for most After of the stops Chicago in stations in Iowa and Minnesota, Mike came home 19 years ago. His family roots at WGN taking hold when he accepted the offer to join the WGN weather team. First on CLTV. I'm Sean Lewis. And I'm Tanya Francisco. Let's check in with Mike Hammernick because all of that's going to be moving out a little bit, right? Uh, it is. It and in 2010, on the reboot of the WGN the Weekend Morning News. We have a pretty decent day coming up for mom. Uh, here. We had a lot of fun. Let's have some music. Ready and go. Even growing up in the Bozo family, though, it wasn't until 2018 that Mike got his first try at the grand prize game himself. Bucket number six. As you can imagine, he was a natural. Bucket number six. What do we have for him? Mike's incredible work ethic was seen by nearly every WGN viewer, no matter what time of day, as he skillfully applied his talents to every show when called upon. Well, Mike, it looks like up north that thing is kind of on the lake now, right? Um, yeah, it looks like in Lake County things have... He brought his professionalism and his wit to our team. Yeah, I've been banished to the weather office, yeah. Um, which is nothing new, that's nothing new. Uh, His battle with cancer was intensely personal and private for Mike, going through treatments quietly and bravely. Mike's charm, his dignity, and keen knowledge of the weather will be forever remembered and forever missed.